can you talk a little bit about the immune system's role when it comes to cancer, either either how we get it or how we you boost that immune sure. system during treatments? Sure. So I hear all the time from patients, I got cancer, so that means my immune system wasn't working. And that's really not the case. Um, we, it's, it's well documented, there are many individuals who get cancer with a perfectly normal immune system. Um, however, what happens with time, uh, once there is a mutated cell and the individual gets cancer, is the cancer cells will instruct our own immune system. They literally will take over and they will prevent our immune system from attacking the cancer. But in addition, it also instructs our own white blood cells to release substances like vascular endothelial growth factor to help the cancer grow. So, um, you know, there are, of course, individuals who have compromised immune systems that will uh, be susceptible to cancer, but very often it's not that you had a compromised immune system that caused you to get cancer. So what we try to do, though, and, and many techniques are coming out, is to try to boost the immune system, even if it's functioning normally, make it super active to actually attack the cancer. And that's, um, there are new drugs that recently came out. One drug got approved about seven to eight weeks ago, and it's actually turning on the cytotoxic T cells uh, to attack the cancer, so actually make them super active. And there are other techniques that are being used now, uh, such as using, as I mentioned earlier, the polio uh, virus and the measles vaccine. Um, there are certainly supplements um, as well that boost the immune system. But I think it's important for the individual out there to realize that it's not necessary, not necessary that you had a failing immune system as the reason why you got cancer. Mm -hmm. When we think about the immune system, a lot of people think vitamin C. When they're getting their cold, they're popping extra vitamin C. Um, and that can also be used, I've heard, as a, as a cancer treatment, more high-dose IV therapy. Is that something that, that you use or have seen work? Sure. So uh, vitamin C uh, in oral, most oral dosing is an antioxidant and stimulates immune function. But when we use high-dose intravenous vitamin C, we're using it in a different capacity. We're not using it as an antioxidant. We're not using it to stimulate a little immune function. At those high intravenous doses, it actually serves as a pro-oxidant and is directly cytotoxic to cancer cells. So there are two ways to use uh, antioxidants, or I should say vitamin C, low doses as an antioxidant to boost the immune system a little bit, but is not directly cytotoxic to cancer cells, and on the other hand, very high intravenous doses actually can be directly cytotoxic mm -hmm. to cancer cells.